everyone. Uh, it's Thursday morning, currently half past 12. You what? So I've had a few hours of kit. Uh, I know full well that this tour egg's got to be done today. And unfortunately sleeping is not going to get it finished. So I'm off back down to the shop to make some more um, progress with it. So we've got the key 500.1 still to do. Um, the rear speakers are pretty much in and done. <coughs> um, the fronts I've got to finish the finish the crossover in the door and connect out the tweeter in the mid. everything back together so there's still quite a bit to do so for the minute we'll have to skip the luxury of sleep let's get the work done <coughs> see you in a bit everyone good morning it's a thursday very early very early people are still out in town drinking and i'm going to work Boom! <laughs> See you in a bit. Morning everyone. I don't know why I'm so chipper. <laughs> I'm fucking knackered. Um, <sighs> right, we are just after five o'clock, so nearly been on this. Gosh, what time did I come down? Half twelve? One? I don't know. Probably five hours or so. Um, anyway, so we're making progress. Obviously this has got to be out today, so the focus is to get it finished in time. Um, so we've got tweeters mounted, cable running following the standard loom into the mid range. So we've got our kicker mid in there, KX, and then obviously onto the crossover. Now this, because of the way that the door is situated, the panel sits into a lot of this, but there is a line here that has a big void inside the door. So this is on a fly lead because this is actually going to get mounted inside the door card once the door is in position. So that's why it's swinging. It's not staying like this, but it will be mounted inside the door. Um, head unit I fitted. So we've managed to get the head unit in and completed now. All the wiring's done there. I've got base controller ran from front to back, ready for the key 500.1. I've inserted a remote cable as well because I felt like we needed one of those. Yes, the amp does do DC offset but I just like a switch. I like a turn on. Oh, come on! Not like that. Um, I like a switch feed. So I've run in a remote feed um, as well as the base controller. We've drilled a hole and we've got a USB mounted in the glove box. Need to do some vacuuming. This side, same again. We've got a tweeter fitted up in the pillar or sail trim down following the factory loom crossover is ready to go mid-range is in that one's done uh, and then to the back he said batman so we've got rear speakers in i just need to cut these cables and connect them up and then that's done but our kx co coaxial is in and door is obviously sound treated uh, same as this one over here i might do that next we've got our speaker in and just need to do the connections on it you might wonder why that's there because i've bypassed the amp so i've been doing a lot of poking and fiddling figuring out what goes in what goes out and that's been most of my task continuity testing from the head unit to find the ins and then using my pack signal generator plugging in the factory speakers to then figure out what does what in the door and then wiring it up accordingly. So we're running straight from the head unit straight to the speakers now. So we're not using the amplifier for anything because the mid range was basically running at two ohms and the tweeter and high mid were running at four ohms. So it just messes with the signal. So we're not doing that. Um, so that's that. And then I've started putting the key in as well, the key 500.1. So we've got our remote turn on, base controller signal. That's gonna go inside this tub on the back wall and Running over the top and down to this side, we've got our signal cables here, which are obviously gonna, we're gonna pick up the feed from there. So although we're gonna have a nice strong speaker cable into the amp, which will perfectly good, it can deal with that. That's the whole point of the key is it, is it likes any kind of signal. 
but we have got a bass controller running to the front to be able to control the bass so it's not just it's as loud as i say it is kind of thing you have control over it so that's going to get mounted inside here and then we're going to run the sub cable for the box that's going to sit at the back i've got to take the spare wheel out because my battery is there so we've got an earth and live to do to the amplifier we've got the box to put in we've got the signal cable to connect that side uh, i've got the door speakers to connect which i'll probably do now and then that's pretty much it put the car back together and tune it um it's not far away but it's taken me another five hours when i should have been sleeping to get this far so we're going to crack on tunes up see you in a bit well then everyone it is time better go home and see the kids uh they will be up soon uh, and we will be oh no it's daylight <laughs> <laughs> crap we're all back to this in a bit um speakers are pretty much landed amps mostly in we've got power connection to do we've got a few bits and bobs to put back together but other than that i'm incredibly sweaty and clammy i need a shower I need a coffee. We'll sleep later when the job is done, right? Cold start. See you in a bit. Name starts with Thinkware. Morning, dudes. Right, uh, 7.21. Had a shower, fresh change of clothes, a couple of coffees. No sleep, still going. Um, back down, carry on with the Toreg. Got quite a bit done this morning, despite it, it being ridiculously early. I'm sure I'll be lagging later on. Um, but yeah, we'll continue to do what we need to do. And I've also got Alan's BMW coming in now this afternoon. Apparently he's got to get rid of the car. He's already got kick out and sub in there target blue eye in front of me and dash cameras that he's now decided have got to be out immediately because he's getting rid of the car so he's like ow oh, i need to get rid of the stuff tomorrow and i'm like yeah because i'm not busy <laughs> jesus so another thing another thing to do today so off to work try and get some breakfast wake my ass up with another coffee uh Red Bull intravenous drip um, and see how much we can get done. See you in a bit, fellas. Right then, guys. Uh, we're rapidly approaching lunchtime. Um, <laughs> I'm just so tired, I just put the GoPro down. It took me 20 minutes to find the thing. <laughs> <laughs> dickhead right um so we are all connected up so rears are connected through and through fronts are connected obviously we're going to do something with a crossover but that's all done head units in and ready to go i've been in the back <coughs> we've got our kicker power fuse distribution had to replace the bolt on here and cut the old one off because the VWs have a swell end and once you put them on you can never take them off so that was fun I've got my key 500 in and I've got my cable round to here I'm just going to run through the setup process that's why this is loose and then we can fix that in there and tidy the cabling up fix the sub um, put some of the car back together and go from there and the, but we are like then building the car back together putting the door panels on and doing a test and sound check I am absolutely minging. My eyes are burning. I'm so tired. Um, but I've got to keep going. See you in a bit. Afternoon, guys. This is Alan, one of my one of my longest customers. Um, we've got his Beamer in. This is the D install. So this car is being sold. Um, and we've got key LOC, um, 800.1 amp. He's already taken his box out. We've got target blue eye to remove and we've got dash camera front and rear which we've got to get out as well because the car's being sold. 
Um, where did we put the aerial for the target blue eye hour? Was it in the rear bumper? In the rear bumper. Cool. Okay, we'll get cracking on this. I'll see you in a bit. This thing is all done. I've just had my kicker representative down. He's coming out to listen to the car, likes it. But we are in one piece with this. Everything's finished. Let's try not to show the registration today, Alex. And there's our subs. All in and looking and sounding sweet. Amplifier we've got obviously tucked in there. That's it, job done. See you in a bit. Well, fellas, I don't know what to say. Let me turn this radio down first, that's the start. Uh, so Sai's just picked up the uh, car. He's well happy, got the wobbly base he wanted. Um, sounds good. Even had my kicker rep, pull, uh, Pete down. He come and had a little listen as well, liked it. Uh, we did the Beamer, Beamer deinstall, that got done, I was taking that away. Uh, the place is a tip, but it's right because I've got the girls here tomorrow. Dad's going to make them clean for pocket money. <laughs> but anyway, um, also, I don't know how I do this, honestly. But we've got an interior back in the Merc. We've got R2D2 in the back, or should I say R2TB2. If you know the gag, he's on a board just to stop him falling over. But we've got a bit of base in here. This is something I knocked up. Um, it's a TB2 10 inch enclosure, sub at the bottom, sub at the top. But I had it, um, or I painted it and, and got a mate of mine, Ollie, to do a wrap, obviously, that looks like R2D2. So this is R2 TB2. A play on words, but if you get it, you get it. Aaron Malin likes it from Kicker. <laughs> but anyway. The Merc is done. Sounds fantastic. Dash is all back together. Head unit is in. We're back with a 10.1 navigation. Um, everything is now amplified. And do you know what? It sounds mint. Absolutely mint. I'm now piloting this home tonight. I can leave the chaser in here. Um, and I'm going to get some sleep. I know, right? Sleep. What the hell is that? Um, but it's been a fun couple of days. <laughs> very, very hectic. Uh, I look forward to the girls doing 20 minutes of cleaning tomorrow and then they get distracted and play on with the TV um, and eat McDonald's hash browns. That's going to be their day tomorrow, guarantee it, 100%. Um, but I'm pooped. I don't know how I'm still standing, really don't. I feel wobbly as hell, I feel really, like almost like a drunk, tired. Um, I don't feel good, but we're going to get the car out, um, swap it with a chaser and I will see you bright and early in the morning. Hope you've enjoyed this one. It's been a fun one, stressful, but we got there. We got there in the end. Um, Jesus, what have we got? What have we got? Let's have a look what we got tomorrow. Uh, golf, no we haven't, that's, oh is that tomorrow? Yeah, it is tomorrow. Um, golf Cabriolet, uh, T5 Shark Fin, that's moved. Oh, actually, I might have a nice easy day tomorrow. So we've got the head unit coming in for the golf for Arthur. I thought he said it was Saturday, but anyway. Might have a golf tomorrow for a head unit. Might not. Who knows? Um, but I might have a nice chill day. So I will see you in the morning, bright and early. Not too early. Thanks for watching. Um, if you haven't, press the button. Throw me a like. Give me a thumbs up, whatever. Comment. Make the algorithm happy. Let's get my money back up where it should be because all of this hard work is probably gonna kill me. <laughs> and YouTube will pay me 36 quid a month to do it. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm not joking. Uh, <laughs> see you in the morning.